uh, to, uh, to the regime and the uh, conference organizers for the, their invitation and the opportunity provided to share what we're doing. Uh, my topic, topic here is a uh, practice of whole genome molecular marker assisted breathing in BGI. Okay, uh, I think uh, most people here uh, should be know BGI. Uh, uh, as BGI uh, at the beginning uh, in the year 1999, uh, it's uh, an NGO, uh, and at that time it established uh, to uh, represent China, uh, China to join the Human Genome Project. But at that time, our capacity just one uh, percent of the Human Genome Project. And uh, step by step, uh, BGI grew up, and uh, now uh, BGI is already uh, the largest uh, genome sequencing and uh, research center. Uh, and uh, totally, and our uh, BGI is already nice, uh, a, a big group. It's not just one uh, division, and uh, totally we have about 5,000 employees. And uh, pretty young, uh, average age is just about 28. Uh, currently, BGI is included uh, these uh, different uh, parts. Uh, this is uh, BGI agriculture, and uh, this is, uh, we have another, uh, uh, the ch first Chinese, uh, in the first China National Gene Bank, also based on the BGI, has been established. And also we have another part, is, uh, that's this part is the BGI research, that's still focused on the research and developing uh, and uh, genomics tools. So this is, the, currently this part is still NGO, uh, other parts are uh, actually uh, not. Uh, and we also have another part is the BGI uh, 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 DX, that's focused on the application of the genomics uh, uh, technology and uh, the tools uh, to the diagnose of the uh, disease and uh, uh, and also to do some uh, surveys of their uh, genomics research. And we have another part is called uh, Complete Genomics, that used to be a company uh, in Silicon Valley and uh, focus on the uh, sequencer, uh, especially sequencer uh, used for uh, personal genome uh, sequencing and uh, analysis. And we have another part which is called the BGI College, which currently is a, 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 a college uh, in the China, China uh, Academy of Science University. So this is a platform of the BGI for the sequencing, and uh, currently I think our well, throughput should be the largest one in the world. And uh, another uh, one is, uh, this is a, uh, uh, our uh, bioinformatics team, uh, or currently based on the number of the bioinformatics uh, people, uh, definitely should be the largest one in the world. And uh, BGI currently we have a division in the Europe and uh, another uh, division in the United States, and have some uh, our independent uh, laboratory uh, running there. And uh, basically, from the beginning, BGI is an open uh, technical supporting platform for the uh, genomic research and application. So we have a lot of uh, collaborators worldwide. And some of them are the research institute, some of them are those large companies. So the basic uh, uh, technical provi uh, provided by the BGI is the sequencing. Yeah, basically we believe the sequencing is the basic for genomics and also the target for the BGI is uh, uh, transgenomics or better life. And uh, this, I think most people know about it, basically the recent uh, years, basically uh, due to the advance of technology, this area grows very fast and also a lot of information, a lot of new uh, discovery has been uh, obtained in the based on genomic research. And now I'm talking to the BGI uh, Agro. Uh, BGI Agro uh, used to be a department, department of uh, agriculture. Uh, uh, in BGI, uh, at that time, that's focused on the application of the genomics tools uh, in agriculture, uh, especially uh, in breeding. Uh, basically, as, at that time, that's about uh, five years ago, uh, when we talked to the uh, breeders, oh, this is a new technology, and this could be really helpful for you guys' work. And uh, I, what I can say is that at that time, nobody believed it. Um, and, Breeders in China are more conservative than most of the breeders here, and so they don't believe it. That, wow, you guys just something like a like something like an unbelievable, just something like a joke, as uh, people talking about the molecular breeding for over two decades. But actually, actually, there's no uh, very uh, significant uh, progress. I mean, um, 
just uh, traditional breeding, not the, not the biotechnology. So nobody believe us. And uh, what we can do is okay. Uh, if nobody believe us, uh, what what we can do just show them the evidence. That's the beginning of the BGI, BGI agriculture. And uh, but today, uh, BGI uh, agriculture department, we have been already uh, have established a highly uh, also a throughput uh, platform for the molecular marker assisted breeding. So basically, the, uh, the basic idea is, uh, I think everyone uh, here are very familiar. Our uh, first part is the genome. Uh, basically, it's, it's, it would be better if you can uh, finish the reference genome of that species. Uh, the second part is uh, gene mapping. Uh, those are very important loci, uh, very important uh, 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 genes related for the uh, breeding efforts for the specific traits. Uh, if you can map them, uh, that will be highly uh, valuable for the further selection work. And the third is use this uh, uh, knowledge and use those molecular markers to help the uh, real breeding efforts. So we have uh, 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 significant progress in all these parts. Uh, first is uh, like the genome sequencing, everyone knows that BGI is uh, uh, very good at this work and uh, we can do it very efficiently and the low costs and uh, so far we have sequenced over 130 uh, important plant genomes uh, including most of those uh, main crops and uh, other important uh, uh, plants. Uh, this is the current uh, situation uh, like those uh, staple foods and uh, those uh, vegetables and uh, like the, even the fruits I think uh, uh, most of them will have a very, very excellent work uh, uh, on their genomes. Definitely that's working together with our collaborators uh, worldwide. So basically the, the targets for the BGI is open, uh, uh, is as, uh, provided an open uh, technical supporting platforms for the scientists and for breeders. Uh, the next is how to use this information. Yeah, as I mentioned, basically that's the um, why the BGI established the agriculture department at that time. Basically, we believe that will be highly uh, powerful uh, tools for the breeding efforts and all, not just for research, but also uh, a real breeding work. But uh, nobody uh, believed that in China at that time. So what we can do just uh, uh, to do some uh, examples ourselves. So uh, for the breeders, basically, they are used to be the most uh, uh, difficult part is uh, uh, genotype. Uh, phenotype uh, breeders uh, can see it and uh, measure it in the field, but uh, uh, genotype is that something breeders hard to know, basically just guess it, and uh, most of the time this guessing doesn't work. So that, that time breeding is a kind of science plus uh, art. Uh, this is a, a basic uh, road, road map for the molecular marker assisted breeding or for what people used to call molecular breeding. I think people know here and basically this is what the breeders doing basically. Uh, breeders once they know uh, where's the uh, high quality uh, or a super allele and uh, control the trait uh, they are interested or where's uh, some new gene which are not existed in the current uh, germplasm and uh, if there's also molecular markers can tell them uh, where the gene is and whether the, where's the uh, how about the gene flow in their progenies? The breeders could step by step accumulate those uh, super alleles or those new genes into a new cultivar or a new population. As a molecular marker system we use uh, currently uh, in PGI is uh, uh, genotyping by sequencing uh, that has been uh, developed by the Ed Buckler and also. Uh, highly uh, recommended by him and that one works pr pr pretty well for us. And uh, compared with other uh, molecular marker system, I think the density is uh, pretty good and also distribution is pretty good. And also this one is not totally rely on the, uh, the reference. Uh, even without the reference, this one could work pretty well. And this is the uh, basic uh, procedure to do that. I think everyone knows about that. I, uh, after that, I just want to show some examples of what we, we did. Uh, uh, first one is a foxtail millet. Uh, that's a, a kind of millet. Uh, Ecrisat has a lot of uh, millet uh, 
germplasm, uh, including include the different species, uh, foxtail millet, this uh, used to be the most important uh, foods of main crops for Asian uh, Chinese people. However, the yield uh, used to be uh, not very good. Basically, the yield is pretty uh, low, uh, especially compared with the maize and the hybrid uh, maize. So once the hybrid maize has been introduced into China, the, uh, cotton, uh, the uh, culture uh, planting area of the uh, foxtail millet dropped uh, sharp, sharply, and currently it's a very teeny uh, crops. But it's a very good drought tolerant. And uh, also it's a C4 plants, and uh, it's very sensitive to the light period. So if you give them a, a short light period in induction, uh, it will finish the life cycle within uh, nine weeks. So uh, for genetic research and also for the quick uh, uh, genetic improvement uh, or quick breeding, this is a very good uh, uh, species. This is what we know before we started the genomic research work. And uh, also very few uh, genomics, uh, genetics information know about this species. Uh, but however, we have the uh, very powerful tool to do the uh, sequencing uh, of the genome. So we just use about uh, four months to finish the uh, genome of the, this hybrid uh, cultivars. We, we finish the genome of the father plants, and then we uh, to do some uh, resequencing of the mother plants. This is their, their genome, and uh, so it's very uh, basically it's very similar uh, uh, with their uh, rice and uh, with sorghum. Yeah, the genome is very similar, like so, with sorghum. And also, we as we know, also we have the uh, uh, sequence information of the both the father and the mother plants. And the uh, linkage map are highly uh, easily to be uh, to be uh, constructed, and also those very important traits are very uh, easily mapped. Uh, on different chromosomes. So this is uh, the uh, mother plants of, the, of that ha hybrid. You can see based on the leaf color, this is uh, basically the vigor is not good. As a uh, light harvesting uh, is low efficient. And also that one has been just controlled by one loci, one locus. Uh, if the locus has been uh, substituted, substituted, then the leaf color could uh, recover and uh, it could grow uh, more healthy. And uh, that's just a, basically that's just a back crossing work, and it was a molecular markers to give the help. Basically, uh, we finished this procedure uh, just within one year. That's about a, a sixth generation, um, one year efforts. Uh, it has been finished. This is genome of the uh, new uh, new strain, and this is uh, what in the field you can see the difference uh, based on the improvement of the light harvest capacity. So this is our first example to do the um, uh, molecular marker assisted breeding. So I think, wow, it's something really work. it works pretty well. Yeah, this is, uh, based on this work, uh, we'll have new, some new, uh, 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 new cultivars has been developed, uh, currently already uh, uh, large scale testing in the field. And uh, at the same time, we also uh, did some uh, uh, gene, uh, gene mapping work, and uh, we have mapped over 200 important uh, alleles in rice, uh, super alleles in rice, and also uh, about another 150 important genes in all the crops. Uh, this is the rice genome, what we know today, and also those important uh, low size control, those are very important uh, traits. And uh, based on the uh, GB, uh, GBS, uh, gene typing by sequencing, uh, it's really, really easy to uh, produce uh, about four, uh, 400,000 to, uh, no, uh, 40,000 to 50,000 uh, SMPs uh, between different uh, material. And uh, this is another example we uh, finished about uh, rice, uh, rice line uh, uh, genetic <coughs> modification. And uh, this is uh, what we call it is a uh, uh, huge uh, panicle, uh, huge panicle uh, rice. You can see the uh, panicle are very huge, and this is a uh, very good uh, for the plants for hybrid rice. But if there's something wrong, some of the problem is it's, it's shattering. So it's a uh, uh, the hybrid uh, cultivars. Uh, so once the harvest, uh, there are huge loss in the field. And uh, based on the genetic analysis, it's relatively just this low side. Yeah? Know about the shattering. 
control the shattering at this low side, this gene is not good. So it's just the same thing like the, what we did in the uh, foxtail millet, basically just a one low side uh, substitution. And uh, the same, uh, same work, you know, same procedure, basically just uh, uh, give the timeline just a five generation to six generation, uh, it has been done. So this, this, this one has been finished uh, last year. And uh, now this is uh, st uh, strain, there's no shattering problem and could be used uh, pretty well uh, uh, in the field. And we also uh, for, uh, did some other uh, modification of some uh, of the rice, uh, produce some, uh, uh, could be new, uh, new strains or new cultivars, like the hybrid uh, fragrant rice, or those uh, blast resistant hybrid rice, and all the high yield uh, rice and all seems something like that. And working together with uh, ERI and uh, KS, yeah, we finished the 3,000 lines resequencing of the rice genome in the rice gene bank. And uh, you can see this, uh, this uh, provide a huge amount of information and uh, this information has been released to the public last year. And uh, even for the, those uh, large genome uh, species like the cotton, uh, this uh, procedure, this uh, uh, GBS procedure works pretty well. We use this uh, uh, GBS procedure and also we can uh, map those very important traits uh, pretty well in cotton. So this is soybean, uh, same thing. We also use the GBS procedure. And we map the 18 uh, soybean very important uh, genes. So this is the flower color and the flower date and also a seed color, yeah. The signal is very clear and very strong. And uh, like the CCM uh, species, uh, the same thing. Basically, uh, we uh, use an F2 uh, population. Uh, we assemble in their genome pretty well. And uh, also uh, map the, those are very important traits related genes pretty well in that population. Uh, 21 very important uh, genes has been uh, mapped uh, this is another example. This is a melon. It's a sweet melon uh, uh, breeding. Yeah, so, so this is uh, this is what we want. Basically, we want the uh, uh, the color of the fruits uh, more attractive, and also the skin more attractive. And uh, based on the genetic analysis, that uh, it totally involved just the three uh, three lo loci, uh, and the one is uh, controlled uh, sugar uh, distribution in the melon. So this is uh, the same thing, even the three, low, uh, three loci uh, modify, uh, substitution as uh, just about, about the sixth generation. It, it could be finished this, uh, this summer. Yeah. Uh, this, is some, uh, this is another example. This is an uh, animal example. This is a goat. This is a genie, a great go, uh, goat. It's a very uh, uh, very uh, uh, indigenous uh, breeds in China. Uh, so something very important for this one is that it has a very high uh, prolif prolificacy. So this could be the uh, uh, highest prolificacy uh, population, uh, as we know in the, in the goat. But also uh, based on the uh, uh, high density um, SMP, uh, we can identify those low sites related with those very important traits. Uh, now this is another one. This is uh, SMPs uh, associated with their uh, higher uh, prolificacy. That's totally about 44 SMPs associated with this trait. And based on the, uh, those uh, low side, yeah, we can easily differentiate those uh, high prolificacy and uh, all the low prolificacy uh, individuals. And this is the distribution of those uh, individuals in the population. So definitely that's genetically uh, determined and also uh, for the breeders that's something real good news. Yeah. That's really easy for them to construct the inbreed lines and yeah, improve their capacity of, their, of the, this population. Uh, the last example is the fish. Yeah. Uh, this is a grouper. Yeah, a grouper shows a very good uh, hybrid vigor. Uh, basically the procedure is the same. Yeah, first the uh, reference genome, the second the linkage map, high density linkage map. Now the molecular marker system used also the uh, genotyping by sequencing. This is the uh, distribution of the molecular markers. 
and this is a molecular weight, um, this is a body weight, a growth rate related uh, loci. It's totally uh, just about 16 loci related with the growth rate. So based on the, uh, those uh, difference of, the, this, uh, of their uh, genotype, you can see the, for the high quality, uh, for the good uh, genotype popula uh, population, the same uh, raising time, the, their average uh, growth, the average uh, body weight uh, is about 186 gram. However, uh, other uh, populations with the genotype are not good. The average uh, body weight is just uh, is less than 60. So, tremendous difference of this two uh, group. So, this is a conclusion I want to uh, uh, based on our uh, based on our uh, successful uh, projects. Basically, the whole genome sequencing and the even the individual genotype of a given species could be quickly obtained based on current high throughput sequencing and bioinformatics platform, uh, even for a neglected species. And the technical platforms in BGI could provide the practical and economic supports for global scientific research and the breeding efforts. So finally, what I want to say is just a bit, uh, Rajiv uh, repeat, repeatedly mentioned, uh, basically, we were enter the area of integrated breeding. Yeah, definitely that's a uh, new area for the breeding efforts. That's real good news for the every breeders here. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Yang, so for sharing the wonderful achievement of your institute with us. The top page open for discussion, please. Could seek some clarification and some opportunities for collaborations. In the middle lane. Yeah, thanks for a nice presentation. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about how you uh, prioritize, you know, the genome sequencing project? What is the, you know, what are the parameters to, you know, prioritize the Pardon, you mean uh, what's the benefits of the genomic selection or the molecular marker system? No, how you prioritize, you know? Uh, uh, I, I, I didn't catch it. How, how, to, okay, how to choose it? Uh, as, 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 as you see, we, uh, we have very uh, uh, high super sequencing capacity and also very strong uh, bioinformatics uh, team. So uh, for those, uh, those very important uh, generations or the, the segregation uh, generation, we, uh, we did the uh, whole genome sequence, no, not the whole genome sequencing. We did it basically the uh, uh, genotyping of those uh, individuals. So we can choose those uh, best one, yeah, those best uh, progenies. And then uh, uh, planted in the field, let it grow up. And then once it's flowering, and then to the next uh, crossing or uh, selfing. This is what we did. So basically just uh, working together with the breeders. So you, you can. Uh, it, go, it can go pretty smooth, yeah. At the international level, I thought most of your facilities are concentrated in your institute in China, mm -hmm. but okay. the way you have made the presenter seems it's all around, around uh, the world, so... Yeah, oh, uh, okay. Uh, basically, the, the, that's a uh, uh, basic target of BGI. BGI like to provide an uh, uh, open uh, technical supporting platform. So basically, we have a very large technical supporting platform, and that platform is open to the uh, to the public, to the um, even also to the companies. That's a, yeah, what we uh, so supported is uh, yeah provided is a technical support, and uh, we have uh, like we could just provide a service, and we also provided uh, collaboration opportunities. And for some projects, we if we think that's a highly important the projects, we also uh, just. Uh, to do some donation just there to give the uh, totally uh, technical support without uh, any charge. So that's pretty flexible for us. That's we are, we are an NGO, so we pretty flexible for us. Yeah. Once we think that one worth to do it, let's say uh, valuable to do it, we just go and do it, do something like that. Thank you. Any other question, comment? If not, then we'd like to thank Dr. Okay, Yang. thank you. Okay.